just when I thought the trip couldn't get any worse, we broke our CV axle. Uh, we brought it to this shop here. The trip that started with having all of our camera gear stolen is now ending with a $1,200 fee just to get home. Rolling with the punches is starting to hurt. Where you like tie up your horses? Perfect. Look I at that. Like. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen them. Howdy, howdy. Let's see. Well, we rode into town so we could get some alcohol, so we could have a kind of a little sorrow party at our campsite. And uh, Utah has a lot where they have reduced alcohol content in all their beverages. We ended up getting like limeritas because it had the highest count, which was 3.7, so we got two. I don't know if it's going to do it or not. <sighs> this is one hell of a trip. Here's our pool. Some pineapple Rita. Yeah, bitch brew. <laughs> what should we jam to? Here we go. Battery is under 10% full. Full. 10% full. Optimistic. <laughs> You know what it is, what it does, what it is, what it isn't. Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking who hitting it. Luke, go! <laughs> nice recovery! <laughs> Today's itinerary, we were going to hike the fiery furnace. But we don't have a truck to get there. We don't have time. And I don't know if we have energy. So 
we're hiking around our campground in these cool canyons on these rocks. That's the cool thing about Moab. You pretty much just hike anywhere. It's all really cool. Whew. Now I gotta figure out how to get up that with, with the camera in my hand. Better tighten down the Chaco Sacos. Great dick. It's so close. But so far away. Voicemail. Oh shit. Doesn't sound positive. Go there. They're, you can pound on it. Yeah, we can do that. They're gonna charge me so much money. We're gonna rush back to the mechanic shop. We gotta ride our dirt bikes through town. Um and uh then I'm gonna beat on the uh, CV axle until it comes free. I'm gonna install it, come back here, pick up our trailer, we're going home. A couple days ago, we broke our truck doing the top of the world trail. It was an awesome time up until it broke apart. And uh, we've been trying to recover the trip ever since without much luck. I'm $1,200 deep into this bill. We didn't make it to the Great Dick. Once again, our fun got cut short by negative Kyle, negative news Kyle. Calling to let us know that our bank account is gonna be even more taxed. All right, I said we fold up the tent and then uh, we can clean up the rest pretty quick, you know? Yeah. Like everything else, just to kind of throw it in the truck and go. We should fold up the tent and then lock the. Oh, dude. <laughs> lock the uh, dirt bikes to the hitch. We're taking the dirt bikes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, once the tent's folded up, the trailer's a lot easier to steal. But. The stuff is all this. Should be okay. It should be fine. Should be fine, I guess. sure this one's gonna fit this time well not a hundred percent kind of counted it has 29 teeth okay yeah so, that's what we need then yeah, I can't believe those other ones didn't fit uh, we're gonna fix this truck and we're gonna get the f out of Moab I like Moab but I'm ready to go Oh, I thought it came out there for a second. Slid up. <laughs> Grueling. Dig a hole, dig a hole. So 
So yeah, eventually that axle should fall out through the pipe and then we can retain that top piece. But it's taken forever on this one. It's really stubborn. I really wish we could just buy that part disassembled. Paid $400 for that part. We just need that one end. We need it to come off of that shaft. Yeah, because my truck uses a two inch longer shaft. Here, step on. I'll step on it here. Feels kind of, kind of good. It's getting looser though, every time. We're gonna get it, it's just a matter of willpower and manpower. We're the three best friends that anyone could ever have and we're working on the truck in Trying to get home. Just trying, trying to, get, to home. get home. Right, we've tried like a dozen methods to get this thing off. We are going to resort to some extreme measures. Unfortunately, I'm going to cut this shaft off, which will allow us to rotate this out far enough to where we can pop these balls out. Then we can get the inner deal off and then stick it in the press and press it. But there's a risk that we won't be able to get it back together. So stressed, so sick of this. We gotta get home. This is our ride home. Okay, I got that end off. Man, now we gotta get it to rotate enough to pop these balls out. If this doesn't work, then it's, I just ruined this whole $400 part. Here. Oh, there we go. It's like a Chinese puzzle. I just had it. stubborn little clip in there. Yeah, there's no way that was gonna, we were gonna beat that out of there. Got it. Took 22 tons of pressure to break this and it literally splined the pin. Oh, it's terrible. This thing's still decent condition. I gotta rebuild it and get back to the other shop. Got it back together. <laughs> Win the battle. The puzzle has been completed. Whew. going on though it's the right size right it seems to be starting which is a good sign I'm gonna I'm gonna cry if it doesn't work oh there it goes oh thank god <laughs> <laughs> everyone's all just like Woo! <laughs> Justin I think we're gonna make it home yeah well we still have 2,000 miles to drive but, <laughs> but it's a start <laughs> well we're gonna make it I'm such a nerd, we're developing uh, 777 
Yes, we know. <laughs> We're gonna do Hell's Revenge real quick. I kind of do. I mean, we got a fresh CV, Axel. Yeah, no. Come go? on, let's do Hell's no, Revenge let's, together. Let's get a trailer and go home. <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's a beer in that fridge. I need it. I we are uh, loading up the bikes and getting the hell out of here. These guys gave it everything they had. I just don't think they were equipped for this sort of uh, situation. We're loading up our bikes now. We're gonna leave. My truck's still throwing codes. They did an alignment on it. I don't think it's really aligned, unfortunately. And it's making some sort of weird scraping noise, so I gotta figure out what that is. They didn't really finish it. I, there's a bungee cord hanging right here. I think everyone just got frustrated and gave up on the truck. I think it's just this dust cover, but it's not touching anywhere that I can feel. We literally just paid thirteen hundred dollars, almost fourteen hundred dollars. And now you're just. And now I still have to fix it myself, which is what we should have done from the start: was bring the truck down here, taking the CV axle out, and drove home in two-wheel drive, and then just fixed it myself at home. Cause it would have been a lot easier, a lot cheaper. I don't know where it's coming from. Left a rag in here. Oh, it's totally soaked in diff, diff fluid. They didn't. They didn't top off my diff fluid. You have to go talk about saving kittens out of trees. <laughs> Can't believe this has come down to using a hatchet. And a screwdriver. <clears throat> yeah, I should have just taken this thing out from the start. Wish I had another hammer. All I'm trying to do is wedge something in between the rotor and the dust uh, cover so I can get the dust cover off of the rotor so it'll stop scraping. There we go. I think that's it. Yeah. The hatchet saved the day. But, but those guys didn't, they didn't do the alignment. We went pretty hard on this, <laughs> this trip. We're about to do a hard charge in 2,000 miles in 16 hours. 